just excited about the week. Uh, obviously excited about what we've done the last two weeks. Um, I kind of put that challenge out to our team a, a couple of weeks ago, thinking that that UW game and this past weekend at home games were going to be key as big a games as we've had in a long time in our, in our program. And clearly uh, we took care of business and played really good basketball. So excited about that. And um, you know, now the big challenge is um, we got to take that kind of excitement and that kind of, you know, playing at a high level and, and be really, really tested these next uh, this, this weekend on the road against uh, two great opponents. Starting this weekend, obviously pretty tough stretch of games. How do you kind of approach um, a set of games kind of as grueling as this? Well, I don't think anything changes. I mean, the routine just stays the same. We, we, uh, we scout, uh, we work on us. We let the players watch a lot of film, um, you know, and at this state of the season, you're also trying to recover and be sharp on game days. So, um, um, you know, personnel is different. What people like to do, systems are different. Um, how they guard you is different. And uh, but at, you know we're what twenty games into the season or so. Uh, we've pretty much seen all kinds of of uh, defenses and 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 things that we're going to have to uh, be good at. So uh, we just we just we just stay with what we are and who we are. And and again, we don't want to be radically different because that would freak our kids out. Kind of hard to believe. Already a third of the way through conference play. Um, what's the biggest thing you want to see improved? Gosh, I think just um, uh, the consistency part of the game. I think probably every coach in the country is looking for that. Can you be on point with how you want to guard people? Can you, you know, do the little things or big things, whatever they may be? Um, again, we've taken care of the ball and we've been successful. So, We've got to continue to do that. We're about to play some people that really pressure the ball, so that's going to be a big challenge. Uh, we're about to play teams that are significantly bigger than us, and so that's a, that's a challenge to rebound and to keep people off the board. So things like that will beat you, you know, if you give up too many second-chance points, if you give them more attempts because you throw it away. So I just think the consistency of us um, – defensive rebounding is is huge on, in the long run and um, our consistency in our ability to to score the basketball you know no more of those two point quarters and those uh, real low number quarters we got to we got to find ways to, to to put the ball in the basket how do you get beyond some more looks and more shots inside yeah i mean uh, again i don't think we need to worry about b at all she's she's you know she didn't get to play this last game because she got into foul trouble um the game before she was on the court a ton. So um, again, I think we're getting pretty good at, at spacing the floor and playing to people's strengths and her understanding where her shots can come from. She's got to work really hard at getting some easy looks by running first post down. She's got to get some easy looks by going to the rebounds and getting some offensive rebounds. Again, I thought she's done that really, really well um, the last few games. And um you know, and then she's just got to be know that she's got a green light and can take every, you know, 15, 17 footer and up to three. So, I mean, she really is a good three point shooter and hadn't taken one this year. So, um, again, she's got to have a real confident mindset. And then lastly, stay on the floor. Don't get in foul trouble because we, we need her minutes and she's really versatile and can, can sub a lot of different people. So we just we need her availability every time we can get it. So, Coach, how do you, um, with USC and UCLA both being top-ranked teams, particularly starting with, with USC, how do you face a team with a star like Juju Watkins, and what's what's the approach against a player like her? It's so different. Like, um, um, you know, we've played some real dominant post teams. You know, Stanford just comes to mind. Just they score within the first five or six seconds on, on a post hit. And uh, transition defense was so huge just to – try to keep them from scoring that early in offense. Um, and then other teams have big posts that you're going to have to defend and you, you know, you got to take care of that. But, but this group, they're not just Juju. Juju's just amazing. I mean, I don't know what else can be said about her. What a talent um, can score at any way she wants, but that three guard lineup that they have that are such snipers and good, 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 you know, three-point shooters and 
do more than that, put the ball on the floor as well, too. Just their guard play is just they put so much pressure on you and you just cannot make a mistake on trans D. And, you know, frankly, they rebound great and they can bring it up fast. So trans D for this team, again, for us, for different reasons, it's not the post area this time. It's it's the guards that are coming at you um, and the athleticism that's coming at you and the rebounding that's coming at you. So um, very, very but but in line with what we've had to do, you know, what you always have to do, you have to defend in transition. And it just because you were good at it the day before doesn't mean you're going to be good at it this time unless you're locked in and you've got five people sprinting and, and understand the urgency of, of getting back and stopping the ball because uh, these guards can really hurt you with, with trans threes, but they can also just slice and dice you in the open court. So big challenges and... Um, I don't know that we have an answer for them, but we're going to try to team defend their how hard they come up the floor. And for uh, UCLA, they seemingly got better over the offseason with the addition of Lauren uh, Betts. How similar to question? How do you approach a team like that, kind of with with a dominant center and then just a, a deep lineup? Yeah, they're just so big across the board. Again, just you know, the, they're just they're different. They're a little bit more like Stanford. They can just go so big. But then they're, uh, you know, they play a different style, super aggressive. Uh, their defensive pressure is real. Um, Charisma is playing just elite basketball on both sides of the ball. She's just the dominant force on the defensive side and disruptor. Um, their entire lineup is is just, you know, impressive and how and the stuff that they do their rebounding is is unbelievable their offensive rebounding them them keeping you off the glass um and again the size that they can throw at you and 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 the spacing on the floor that makes it you know how do you guard Lauren Betts without double or triple teaming her and then the second you do that you create you know just great shots for elite shooters so um, very difficult team, very, you know, a little bit different than USC, except both of them are, you know, really great defensively, but um, different personnel, different systems. So I would say this is a hard weekend to match up with uh, these two teams because I do think they're a little bit different and it's hard to scout the second team as, as much as you'd like to. But, you know, every time you step on the court in this league, you're going to play against uh, a great competition and the challenges are going to be, um, immense, and, and you're going to have to figure some things out and get to your strengths. Uh, your team had a halftime lead against Stanford and played pretty, pretty well against the Cardinal down down the stretch. How much does that game give give you confidence for the LA weekend and future Pac-12 contests to come? Well, I mean, it is something we've reminded our players because we were so, you know, consumed with not letting their posts hurt us in that first five or ten seconds of offense. And we really guarded that unbelievably well against Stanford. Now they hurt us other places and, and, um, but, but we guarded, we really guarded that. And I think that's been, you know, they didn't dominate us there. They got Cameron Brink down there. They got Kiki. They'd been lighting people up with first post down and just big touches and, and they didn't get that against us. Um, so it is something like that's the kind of effort we've got to have, even going back to Gonzaga they're unbelievably good in the post and they're so good at, at getting catches early in offense. And we guarded them really well. So there've been a couple of games where we just really defended the low block and, and running the floor and not letting them get to their first want or, or the thing that they want the easiest. And, and, and so that is a confidence builder, but like I said, it's, it doesn't mean that we're going to be good against these guards that are coming at us or Ray and Marshall that's going to run or, you know, some of the, or Lauren Betts or all the other players that they have that are, are coming down and, and, and creating big holes in the, in the paint. So uh, you just got to show up and, and be super, super good at, at defending your basket. And, and, you know, our goal is to get to five on five and, and try to make those baskets as hard as possible. Take away the easiest shots, the ones they want the easiest and again, USC and UCLA are really good at creating, you know, easy shots in the first 10 and 12, 15 seconds of offense. So we're just trying to get them to that second 15. And uh, what do you need from your team leaders like Charlie and, and Bella in order to play your best this weekend? Yeah, I need, need Bella to just continue what she's been doing. Like her emphasis of running, again, same idea. Go get something easy. Go 
create a, you know, make people double team you. Go make people worry about you. Don't jog up the floor and, and be easy to guard at the three-point line. So we need a presence in the post. And that's Bella. That's Tara running. That's B running. It doesn't matter who it is. But you asked about Bella. We need her to be a post presence. And uh, doesn't mean she'll stay there. She can bounce it out and play all over the court. And, and I think she's made great decisions on her on her shot selection. Uh, we need her to, you know, again, good decisions in practice. Just keep stacking great days on top of each other and then knowing that that leads to confidence on game day. So she's had she's had really good practices. She's had really good games. We need her confidence at a high level and she needs to go be aggressive on game day. Uh, Charlize is, you know, Charlize is holding it together and, and AT's out. So significant that she's got to take over a lot of ball handling. LA's having to take over a, low, a lot of ball handling. Um, a lot of the play calling, a lot of the keeping us together is, is it falls pretty much on Charlize every single minute of the day. So uh, I don't worry about her. She can handle it. She knows what is needed and uh, she's ready for any and every challenge that comes her way.